Alrighty guys, welcome to another episode with Handyman Dan. On today's episode we're doing diff oil in the bus. Um, so yeah, it's super quick, easy job. Um, yeah, but it's a good thing to do and to do it yourself because it saves you a lot of money and it's just good to know how to do it yourself in case you ever get into trouble and you need to do it. Alrighty, so I have done the diff oil in the bus previously. I got it when we first bought it um, just because I didn't know what the service intervals of it had been and the very dirty, the diff oil especially. Um, so I did the oil change and that was probably about 20, 25,000 Ks ago. And so what I did was change all the oil, change the, like change the different gearbox oil and then we've ran it for 20,000 Ks and I've done that to hopefully dislodge and get any other like bits of dirt and grime out of the diff and gearbox. Um, so now I can do the oil change, put good quality oil in, and then leave it for 100,000 or so, um, depending on when I next feel like changing it. Yeah, so that's kind of what we did. So the oil that we drain will be really, really clean, pretty much, because it's very, very fresh oil. Doing that now, hopefully, will prolong the life of diff and gearbox. Um, just because, yeah, obviously, if we left that dirty oil in there, we wouldn't have got a very long service life out of it. And now doing this flush and then putting in good quality Toyota oil, um, hopefully we'll have trouble free, trouble free gearbox gear changing and differential life. And I'll show you the oil which also the oil is pretty much the same price if not cheaper than what I bought um, both the diff and gearbox. And this is the deer oil with the GL5 for the diff and the GL4 for the gearbox. But yeah it's just 85.90. Um, it's got limited slip diff additives, but that's fine to run in a non-limited slip diff. It doesn't really matter. Um, but you just don't want to do it the other way around. You don't want to run non-limited slip, slip diff oil in a limited slip diff. Alrighty, so we'll just get everything ready. One thing I love using is these. They're from Bunnings. It's just like a little drill um, operated pump. They are the bomb for doing something like this. You just stick it in your jug of oil or like your bottle of oil, attach it to the drill and then it will just feed it in. It's so easy. Um, the other thing that's good is those new lawn squeeze packs, but they're so expensive. Um, as I was saying, for both those four liters for the diff and gearbox, it was like $89 for both. So it's like pretty much like 45 bucks each. I worked it out and genuine Toyota is a lot cheaper than the aftermarket, so. That's super easy and I grabbed some oil filters and air filters and stuff while I was there just because they're also very comparative on price and they are like a bit better quality so yeah but anyway we'll get set up so we've got our catch can and you need a either 20 film 24 mil socket or spanner there we go so we can get that undone now these ones, see so now for the diff bolts, I use a 15th, 16th. Um, I did try the metric, but I had a little bit more play, just like you could kind of put it on there and it would have like just that little bit of rock, um, which obviously normally it would, you'd think it would be. Metric thing is it's Japanese, um, but yeah, I know for some reason 15th, 16th fits a bit tighter, so. So yeah, we'll get that on the drain plug. And we'll just loosen that. There we go. Now this one's not as good because the bucket doesn't fit under as well. But still pretty good. So just loosen this off and drain the diff. Oh, almost there. There we go. And we'll take this one off. And then it will flow a lot freer. There we go. So now we'll leave that for five minutes to drain. So as you can see, the diff oil is a bit dirtier. Um, that was definitely the case when I pulled them out. Um, the gearbox oil wasn't too bad, but the diff oil was very dirty. So I'm very glad I'm doing this flush because it will definitely remove any of those contaminants. Um, yeah, the diff's got a magnet on it. Clean up this one. Cool, pretty clean. So yeah, now this one has a magnet in it, so we'll just try and pad a bunch of the oil off. Also, it is the lowest point of the diff, so any kind of like sediment or anything like that would also 
settled down there. But as you can see, that's filthy. So, very glad we're doing this flush. We're just finishing giving this thing a nice big clean up. So yeah, as you could imagine, the oil we pulled out the first time around was very dirty if this has only been in there for 20,000 kilometers and it came out looking like that. So, but now, next time, put the oil in, I might do it again in 50,000. Um, and then, you know, drop it again and then we're slowly gonna dilute all the grime and gunk that's in there. And then, you know, it should give it a new lease on life for sure. Squeaky clean. So, we'll go check the drain and then we'll get ready to uh, refill the diff. Alrighty, yep, so that's slowed down to a drip. So, more than happy to chuck the plug back in and then we'll get ready to fill it up. So yeah, we'll just get this snugged up. Same with the gearbox, you just want it to be firm. Yep, that's pretty firm. So now I'll just get all of the assembly with the bottle of oil and then the um, like inline pump and get all that ready. And we start filling her up. Alrighty now, so this big bad boy holds 3.8 litres. So pretty much all that 3 litre to our 4 litre will get to go in. We'll also chuck in a smooth shift manual and diff as well, just to help this diff as well. So we got that one in there. We'll tape the lid off. Dunk this one in. And away we go. So the diff oil is much thicker as well than the gearbox oil, so you can definitely feel the viscosity of it. Um, yeah, you can definitely feel that it's a little bit harder for the drill to push, but still does it super easily. You don't have to do one of those hand pump ones, you don't have to do anything like that, you just freaking... We'll stop there, that should be pretty much 3.5. We'll pull this out and then do the finger test. Pretty much just like dunking my finger in and just going that like that over the lip and she's coming out. So it's pretty much full by the time we put the easy squeeze in. It'd be pretty much 3.8. I could potentially go a little bit more but it's all right. It's well within a speck of what we need. So, so yeah, on this, it just says um, that 125 mil um, for every two liters of oil. So we've diffed 3.8, so 250 mil. Pretty much perfect for the diff. Just go like that and just squeeze it down. Pretty happy with that. Give it a little bit of a wipe up. A bit clean. Uh, we'll put this back in. Now I'll show you what I mean. So, so this is the 24 mil ring spanner that I used on the gearbox, and that was pretty tight um, and fitted them quite nicely. But I'll show you on here. I'll just nip it up, but then see how much slop there is. Whereas it's way better on the gearbox ones, even though they're pretty much the exact same bolt. Whereas I'll put this 5 sixteenths, um, 15 sixteenths on. Like I'll just take it off. That's the socket on. It's got hardly anywhere as this. Nip this up and then decant everything and then that's it, job done. Not too tight, not too loose, so it's kind of like a, and then just do like a little, and that'll be heaps. So just letting as much of a drain back into the container as possible and then we'll decant that and then empty the old oil. So written on this, we'll decant that into there and that'll be that. So I'll just show you something pretty interesting. This is what I chucked in the diff. Look at the colour of it. It's pretty nice, clean, light coloured oil, similar to what we put in a Toyota brand. And this is the diff oil after about 20,000, 20, 25,000. It's pretty dark. So I'm definitely glad we're doing this flush. Alrighty, so that is job done. So 
yeah hope you found that helpful hope that gave you the confidence to do your own diff oil um, in whatever it may be it's a super easy job anyone can do it you just need a few tools and a little bit of time but yeah it's definitely good with the drill inline pump it makes it so much easier and yeah i hope you found that helpful and please like and subscribe to the video got more videos coming out on coaster stuff and anything else i get up to um so yeah cheers